Hi guys, welcome back to Just Claire Creates. Today I have a hybrid scrapbooking layout. I have put a photo and a good amount of journaling onto an A5 piece of photo paper in Microsoft Word and I've just cut down the photo and the journaling because I wanted to create what felt like a more physical layout. So for this what I'm using is the Ali Edwards Brave kit and I am on the waitlist for the physical kit and while I was on it I thought I would get the digital kit because I especially liked this theme and the colours in this theme so I really wanted this kit. So what I've done is I've printed off some of the bits, some of the uh, digital elements, the embellishments and things onto photo paper so that I can use them as though they're physical elements. For some of the layouts that I've done, I've done them purely digital, um, just in Microsoft Word because I don't have Photoshop at the minute. But for this one, I wanted it to have a more physical feel. So I have just created a bit of a mixed media background. It's very subtle. It's just some splatter, some watercolour splatters on the white card that I'm using in yellow and orange just to kind of go behind the photo and the journaling to give it a bit of a colour scheme. So I've chosen some elements from those digital pieces that I've printed off that I want to use. Um, and some of them are what would have been on the chipboard and some of them I think are the stamps that I've chosen. So I've got a little tab at the top that says worth it which I'm going to have behind my photo. And I'm just using some of these Ucraft um, sticky dots to go behind it and I like these because they're slightly raised or more raised than the ones that I normally get from Wilco's. So I put that behind it and then the photo looks a little bit flat on top. So I'm just using some double sided foam adhesive to raise that up and I love this foam adhesive. It's just from Palmland but because it's double sided I don't need to add anything extra to it. So it And it came on a great big roll, so I think I might go and get some more of that. So I've just done the same there for my journaling. And I'm just laying out the other embellishments that I'm going to stick down. I'd got some little die cut feathers that I think I'd cut apart from a paper that came from a Mrs Brimble's box. So I've just cut another one of those out and I'm just deciding where I'm going to have those. So I've decided to have them sort of on the corners um, of the page and I'm going to layer some of these pieces on top of that. If I'm not using the sticky dots for smaller pieces and I'm not using the foam adhesive, I'm using sellotape, double-sided tape. This layout is an A5 size which I've been doing quite a lot of so that I can print two layouts onto one A4 sheet of photo paper and use cheap photo pockets and an A5 binder. So I'm just sticking these down with those little sticky dots and they are really, really sticky so I just need to be careful not to kind of ruin the thing that I'm trying to take them off with. So I've just cut the excess of those feathers off and I'm just adding on some enamel dots. I'm really enjoying working with this kit. Um, when I first started, I thought that I would struggle to find occasions when I consider myself brave. So it's been really interesting watching the classes, reading the handouts and thinking about all the times that bravery is a part of my life. And this story is about when I made a speech at my grandma's funeral and because I was so determined to read it myself, I was brave enough to stand up and do it. Um, so this is my finished layout. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks for watching.